confirmed we are ready to proceed to our fourth match for the mixed team. All right, welcome to the quarterfinals of the mixed team rounds here at uh, Outdoor Nationals 2023 in Melbourne, Pennsylvania. So we got two teams here. We got number one seed Brady and Abby with Brady Ellison and Abigail Kepps uh, versus Roll With It, which is Kevin Mather and Lael Mather. So um, this should be a, an interesting uh, match here. Oh, the Just Roll With It is ranked ninth. So I think they could put up a pretty good fight uh, against uh, Brady and Abby. We'll see me. We could even get a, an upset here. You never know. Okay, so looks like Lael with a 10 and Abby with a 9. We got Brady up now and looks like Lael's shooting again. Uh, Lael with a 9-10 liner. Brady with a 9, so team Brady and Abby, two 9s. Team roll with it. Uh, might have two tens or a ten and a nine. So Abby and Kevin are both at full draw. Boom, Abby shoots. Kevin shoots. Abby with a nine. So three nines. Kevin with a set, a eight. Looks like an eight high to the right. Gotta, gotta adjust our camera a little bit here. A little bit off. We got we got some spotters here too, so I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see all the teams, but uh, we're just working with what we got. You know, we're gonna we're gonna roll with it. So down at the target, we have ten nine nine for Brady and Abby, and we have it looks like ten nine ten liner and probably two eights for roll with it. So we'll see how this goes. Teams are walking down now. Oh, wind is still dead. No wind, basically. We could actually use some wind because it's pretty toasty here. Um, compound must be down to uh, their semifinals. They definitely didn't have a lot of people on compound. Olympic recurve had a fantastic showing. Uh, we had archers from targets 13 all the way to targets 60. So people really showed up to shoot uh, Olympic recurve mixed team. So it's good to see. Um, as for people watching, we still have a very good audience here. Almost nobody's left. People are camping out. Uh, it's, it's, it's good to see that many people watching. Let's see what they're doing all the way down there. We'll, we'll zoom in some. Let's try to refocus this. All right, it looks like two set points. Abby just flipped the flipboard. All right, everybody's pulling arrows. Flipboards, by the way, are made by Sure Shot Archery. Uh, we also sell target flags and target numbers and things like that, so you can make your range at home look exactly like outdoor nationals or any other USAT event because they mostly use short shot archery products to uh, to set up their tournaments. So you could get an basically an identical setup to uh, these world-class tournaments that you you know may want to shoot in. And that way you can feel right at home when you go and shoot a big USAT event like outdoor nationals or any of the other ones across the circuit. All right, everybody's walking back besides compound because they're trying to figure out who has more tens because you don't shoot nines in compound but in Olympic recurve we're having a great time people are shooting arrows some of them go all over the place but that is the art of the game now interestingly enough you guys can't see it because I can't turn the camera around that far but the flags way further down the field are actually moving pretty good. So we must be in a dead spot here where they put the official practice range that they also use for mixed team matches. Because, you know, 2,000 feet down the line here, there's actually, looks like there's some wind. The American flag's blowing pretty uh, quickly in the breeze. And it looks like I can see some target flags and stuff and they're going, they're going pretty good too. There's those large banner flags that are blowing. So for whatever reason, we are in a 
ultimate dead spot here. Oh, oh we're back. We're back in business. Um, let's refocus here on all of our, our people. So there's Lael up on the line. Abby's up on the line. Let's see. All right, both Lael and Abby drawing back at the same time. Let's see what shots they make. All right, ooh, Abby with an eight. Lael with a 10, it looks like. Very good. All right, Lael's drawing back again. Brady's drawing back now too. Lael shoots. She gets a nine, so a 10 and a nine for team roll with it. Brady goes and shoots a 10. So 10 and an eight for Brady and Abby. All right, Kevin's up. Boom, Kevin shoots. Looks like Kevin, ooh, is that Kevin all the way up there? Oh, no, we're moving the wrong thing. We want to be moving the spotting scope. Looks like Kevin got a really high uh, six or a five. Let's see, Brady's, Brady's still at full draw. Brady shot a nine even after holding for what seemed like forever. Now Kevin's not shooting anymore, so I must have missed an arrow in there somewhere. Oh, looks like he shot a 10. So roll with it's got a, looks like two 10s, an eight nine liner, and it looks like a six, where Brady and Abby have a 10, a nine, an eight, and wow, they, they really need a new target face. Probably on the nine somewhere. I know that, that was not in order, but it's a mess. Oh, look who's here. Wow. Liz and Ryland might be joining us. Did y'all miss me? They, they probably did miss you. I don't think they did. It's a lot of work doing this all by myself. I, can, I can't imagine. I just need a scope. Look, we have a scope. Oh, have a scope set up. Look, so I'm going to get some assistance here. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You right? Okay, what target are we looking at? Well, we're going to be looking at 13 and 14. Okay, who's shoot? We have Brady. Brady and Abby, okay. which is literally Brady and Abby. Is it Brady and Abby? That's that, not very creative. I feel like they could have put more thought into that. Uh -huh. And then we have Roll With It, which is <laughs> Team Mather. Okay. We got Lael and Kevin. Mm -hmm. Okay. And do we know who is up? 13, uh, I think Brady and Abby took this took one. Took the one? Okay. You're going to be amazed at how... Beat up. They, they must have never replaced them. Oh, the targets? Yeah, it's not oh, right. well, they're like, did you hear the announcement at the beginning? They're like, yeah, just make sure all your rings are intact and you can still see some of the lines. I was like, oh, okay, so we're not spending any money on more target faces. I say, nope. No, entrance fees would have to go up a little bit. Come on. <laughs> There's already enough inflation. <laughs> um, what's, what's, what's $500? At no. <laughs> what is the entry fee now? I, I swear I paid at least 150 for each. But oh, well, I clearly missed something. Uh, hey, Anthony, how's your eyes? You need your eyes checked? No, no, the target faces what are that scope bad. Do you go, have? go do look at the. Better scope? Okay, this is this is this is a budget scope from a long time ago. This the scope we're using to spot these arrows is from uh, when we used to do full fetus. Not as tall as you. Ryland's got a better scope. Ryland's got a better no, scope. His is also like. Walmart brand. Whoa, we, we got a lot of scope hate going on here behind the camera. Um, hey, Compound got their act together though, and they're actually uh, you know, done scoring, so that's good. These targets are not that bad. You're just being. Okay, maybe it's maybe maybe it's my scope. No, I'm. You're fine. You're just being picky. Here you go, Liz. Look through that one. <laughs> The great scope compared. For anyone who can't see, Rylan, you're 6'2", 6'1"? Six yeah, 6'2". And I, I'm, I'm a tall female, I'm 5'7", but he just... It's just, you know, top of your head height. Above average, some would say. Three inches above average. <laughs> Sorry. Liz is above average. In life. <laughs> Candace told me I had an above average sense of humor today, so that's like... I'm riding that's high. That's coming from her. She was... 
He shot a t fight in Texas Aggie 10 earlier. Whoop! That's what they, were doing. they just keep making those sounds. Yeah, the sounds. I'm concerned. This is, it, it's a cult. We should be focusing on them. I don't know why we're worried about over here. It's not a cult. It's a great university. It's a cult. With a great diversity in student body. So, like, if we want to pitch A&M, like, we could do that right now. Great coaches if everyone's looking at A&M for... They have a good archery team. Great archery team. Really, it's the color maroon. That's about it. Maroon looks good on everyone. All right. Back to shooting. <laughs> okay, so... Brady and Abby have a... Okay, actually, no, you're right. It is hard to see the arrows in here. See? <laughs> Abby has a nine... Nine o'clock, and either Kevin or Leo have a ten. So Kevin, Leo, for the roll with it, people are up. Um, Brady shot another nine. Someone else just shot a seven. So Kevin is over there, by the way. You would just you can only do so much with this angle, and then people spotting and That's what we think he is, like everything else. Tall? Whoa. Four and wow. At least four and a half. Four and a half. They're trying to compete with the Aggies over there and failing. Uh, looked like Brady or Abby had another two. I don't know the order. I just popped so, in. So Brady and Abby keep switching every shot. Okay, well, I give up on that. Kevin and Lael do two each. Brady just put down two really nice tens, so I think they're going to pick this match. But... The Mathers have a 10, 9, 8, maybe another 9? Still a good round for them. And they won last round, so. I'll never cease to be amazed at pair of archers. Like, I was down with Candace today, being her agent, and just, I can't shoot as an able-bodied. I'm just so impressed. And, like, Kevin is pushing it with Brady right now, so. Kevin's good. Kevin's really good. So if you were to do mixed team rounds, uh -huh. do you do... Two arrows, an archer, and then switch? No, do you shoot your two arrows and then you switch with your teammate? Or do you do one, switch, one, switch? I think it should all be one switch, but we did two switch today. I like one, 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 because yeah. you have, you can get off the line, get, or shoot your shot, get off the line, and think about it. You're not wasting that in-between time and let your teammate have that time to shoot their shot. Yeah. See, I like that idea too, because then like you shoot it, you send it down there. While it's going down there, you're just, you're just getting yeah. off that line, and you're like, all right, you know, if, you, you just turn the page in the book. You don't have to, like, re like yeah, yeah, sit there and look at it. Harp oh. on the fact that, oh, that, that really sucked. That I really, <laughs> really, really screwed over my teammate on that one. Well, and on a World <laughs> Cup circuit, they do force you to do 1-1-1-1. One, 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 one. And I think USA Art, can I say this? USA Art Tree should be focusing on what is used on international stages to win medals in Olympic spots. So, Oh, well, that makes sense. Plus, it's more opportunities for someone to mess up and us get to laugh at them, so... That too, entertainment. Yeah. But yeah, no, USAD events and, and such should be mini versions of yeah. uh, World Cups. Yep. Yeah. No, I think that's a good idea. At least as much as, as, much as possible. As much as possible within. Well, with, yeah, as long as you're not uh, taking away from, you know, because this is, this is a way of, you know, we're gathering, you're gathering all the top archers in the United States to see who is a good enough shooter to go and represent us on yeah. the world stage. So. Well, and. Yeah in the sport of archery yeah. and how the rankings work you always have a chance of having okay so top three go sometimes no top four go sometimes top three but that fifth person can easily slide in there and what if that first fifth person's never been on the world stage and having national tournaments mimic world events more closely i think it gives us a benefit on the international stage yeah because you can just hop in and be like, oh, I know what I'm doing exactly with, yeah. without it being like, oh, they do this differently here. That's, that was something, because I'm used to like uh, three-person teams where you switch and switch and switch, go one, one, one. But uh, I was surprised with mixed teams that it's two and two for the most part. So, yeah, I think it should at least mimic the other team events. So, why not? Maybe something to consider in the future. Wait, mixed teams? Mixed teams is always two and two. Is it? Yeah. Even on the final stage? Yes. Yes, well, but they, but they switch have... arrows, though. But you switch arrows. Yeah, you know, yeah, 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 one yeah, arrow yeah. at a time. Oh, yeah. okay. That's what he meant. Sorry. That's what I, mean. I thought That's you were I mean. saying that there was three people, and I was like, there's no, no three people <laughs> in the mixed teams. What is it going to be? <laughs> Get a cadet or, like, a junior out there with you. Get a I'm kid. just glad we did that, mixed teams. That, that, that'd be interesting. I know there was a lot of disappointment in they're not having team rounds last um would it would have been yesterday i'm just glad they had something yeah because at one point it was nothing right yeah 
I guess there was enough complaints or? They need to be something. Like they gotta host at least one. If you're not gonna host team, at least mix team. I think I'm really impressed whoever was able to write by on the flip cards over there. Like, I, you know, that's impressive. You clearly never went to collegiate stuff. <laughs> well, some of us well, don't know how to spell. I've, so. I've seen vulgar words. I've never seen an actually useful <laughs> phrase put on those boards. Okay, so Abby is starting us off, and it looks like Lael, two women. All right, they're both at full draw. <gasps> Boom, Abby. Abby has a left seven. And Lael just shot a just high nine. All right, Lael's up again, and now Brady's on the line as well. Lael shot a sorry scope, uh, just just out eight. We saw a shot. Brady shot, of course, a ten. He's actually been pretty good on the tens, at least one, usually two. Uh, yeah, just himself. I hear yeah. Brady's an okay archer. He's I hear he's, I hear he's okay. He does okay. It, it depends. It's it's, it's it's definitely all the points. It looks like Abby shot. Brady Elson uses short shot archery points. That's why he gets more tens. Oh, that explains it. And then Kevin shot a nine. So I think Kevin and Lael are still up this round. They're still in this. They're holding, holding their own. They're doing very well. I'm quite impressed, actually. Brady with a ten. Kevin with a high eight. Uh, I can't do math right now, but one, two, three, they're down, uh, layout, the Mathers are down six. I think it's a tie, but I guess in this, uh, Brady and Abby may take it because mixed team, it's first to five, or all team rounds, it's first to five. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. set set up. So, you, yeah, so you can be... 4-2, but if you tie, you're going to win because you'll be 5-3 then. Yep, you're going to split the points, but first to five in team rounds, which is a little different. Um, individual eliminations with the set system, it's first to six. So I know, it's so it's so awkward because really outdoor national is the only time a year, at least for me, if I'm going to have the opportunity to shoot mixed team or team, that I actually get to experience the full system without just like watching it on yeah. World Archery or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Cause yeah, I get to shoot eliminations every uh, USAD event, basically. But not team. But, but not, yeah, so then it's like, whoa, we're, we're, we're being taken for a little spin here with, oh, five, we can win a five. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. like this little breath of fresh air. You're like, oh, I can sit down and I'm done. I, I can tie one and still win. <laughs> Back to the DOS, fighting Texas Aggies. Oh, they're in trouble. Uh -oh. Ooh, look at those. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yep, okay, so it looks like Brady and Abby won. So what I'm seeing is Brady's beating up on a pair archer right now. That's just Gosh. Do you know what else Brady won? Huh? Brady won the 50-50 raffle yesterday. You gotta have that diaper money. Yeah, he's got, he's, he's got mouths to feed. <laughs> do you know why he won it? My husband called the kids over. He was like, oh, I'll give them 20 bucks, whatever. And he got, I think the number was like 382. So Matt got... 360 to 380 and then Brady was like oh they're there I'll give them a few bucks and so Brady won it because Matt called them over and oh like, so it's Matt's fault no well yeah it's Matt's <laughs> I think Brady should call it Matt. he should Bra Brady does have more bills coming though because yeah, you know, two kids on the well have one kid and one kid on the way yeah it's, it's, diapers are expensive these days he asked when Matt and I were having kids yesterday, and I said, Brady, what time did you wake up this morning? And he goes, oh, like 6. I was like, well, Matt and I got to sleep until 10. No crying, no kids. It's great. You know, fair enough. So this wraps up the quarterfinals here at Mixed Teams, and uh, we'll catch you at the next match. Thank you for watching, and... Make sure you go and follow Ryland and Liz because they're they're helping us out and we're doing this this some cult thing going on again. It's not a cult. It, what is? Hey! Ah! Sorry. It's the infiltration. I drank the Kool Aid a long time ago. See, I'm concerned. All right. Well, thank you everybody for watching. Please like and subscribe. Follow all of these archers, including our announcers. And as always, happy shooting.